Don't have time to unite the Roman Empire? No, you don't have to. With the United Roman Empire mod, you get a Roman Empire straight away. So, hello everyone, and welcome to this... Um, gonna be quite a brief video about the new mod for Total War Rome 2. It replaces the Imperator Augustus campaign with the Roman Empire 27 BC campaign. So, the map hasn't changed, uh, but it has an updated description, and... Yeah, pretty much. It's set it at 27 BC, so Octavian is now, you know, Emperor of the Roman Empire. And the mod also changes around Parthia, so he actually controls pretty much all of its satrapies as well now. So it's a very large, powerful faction. Almost, I guess, to rival that of the Roman Empire. But what we'll do, we'll take a little look at the campaign map and kind of show what it's changed. And just have a little look-see around. Okay, so here we have the Empire on the campaign map. And what this does as well, it adds in... Are pretty much a lot of forces so you, you're you're the size of an empire you have armies of an empire except you're now losing money unfortunately but I'm pretty sure you can change that around pretty quickly by kind of changing around the buildings disbanding a couple of empires because I imagine your territory is kind of in Spain or Spain you're gonna be fairly safe uh, but yeah so it's got you get free armies near uh, kind of Germania the Germania German Germanic tribes as well so it positions the forces in kind of like tactical locations all across the Empire. So that's a nice little touch that they've done there. And if we take a look at the, 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 the diplomacy, if I can get my words out, we can have a little look at the overview of the Empire. So Judea is in there as a faction, and Galatia. So it appears you're trading with a lot of people, but just no one likes you. The Helveti are our client state. Let's see if we have any others. Pontus are also a client state. So there we go, and as you can see there, Octavian is the emperor of the Octavian dynasty, and you also have Agrippa as well. So I like these kind of mods when it basically just changes around, and it introduces a new time period uh, that kind of you can just start the campaign from, and yeah, you don't necessarily have to play as the Romans, uh, you can play as Parthia which might be a bit of an interesting faction to play as. And there are several others. I can't remember off the top of my head, so we'll go back to the campaign map, uh, the campaign selection in a sec. But yeah, it's just a nice little mod that changes it all around to kind of represent the Roman Empire at the time of 27 BC. I believe it's a fairly accurate re representation of the territorial um, kind of gains that they had uh, at the time and the, kind of the territory that they would have had during that time as well. A little bit laggy there, not sure what's going on there, but hey-ho, there we go. So, food is good, money isn't, but you can change that pretty easily, I'm sure. Oh, actually, sorry, we've got a lot of client states. So Pontus, Numidia, Phrase, Galatia, Cappadocia, Helvetia, Judea. <laughs> Tons. Tons of client states, although it doesn't show them all on here, but maybe that's just a little bug. Well, anyway. So, we are clearly the most powerful faction in the game. As you can see here, which the Roman Empire would have been at the time, in Europe at least. Uh, you do still have Britannia to conquer. You could conquer that early on. Um, so yeah, you have a lot of flexibility to do whatever you like as the Roman Empire. And we'll just take a little look at the factions. And then that's going to be the video done and dusted. Quite a quick one, isn't it? So here we go. You can play as Rome, the Eastern Empires of Parthia and Armenia, the Balkan tribes of Dacia, the Iceni, and the Germanic tribes. So you could even play as the Iceni and try and destroy the Roman Empire, that would be quite uh, a funny thing to do. But there we go, that is the mod, I'll leave the link in the description as per usual, and until next time everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.